is. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Development Palettes. I'm Aaron Loomis coming to you from the Drew Estate Studio. With me today is June Liu, Seth Geist, John McTavish. How are you guys doing tonight? I believe it is I that will be coming from the Drew Estate Studios after this evening. There you go. Mon Monday Night Football I that I totally yeah. forgot about. Whoa, never, whoa. never review alone. Ha -ha. Never review go. alone, bro. That's never. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so today we are talking about the Drew Estate Undercrown Sungrown Dojo Dogma. This cigar is a uh, Robusto Extra 5x54, comes out of the La Grande Fabrica Drew Estate factory in Nicaragua. Wrapper is Ecuadorian Sumatra, Sumatra Sungrown. Uh, binder is Connecticut Sungrown Habano. Filters from Nicaragua. Uh, blended by Willie Herrera. Price point is $10.20. Cigar was released in August of 2020. So with all that out of the way, June, what was your overall experience like with this cigar? I thought it was overall pretty good. Um, happy to get my dogma badge after smoking these. Uh, you know, it was size alone. I, I wasn't a big fan of the size, but uh, flavor profile wise, I thought it was inherently sweet. Shows a lot of good spices. Um, very like oily, silky kind of a buttery texture that I always like in cigars. Uh, sweet cream, dried nuts, mineral cedar, uh, like a very layered uh, red pepper spice so nothing that's like too overbearing um and and you know i, I showed i thought it showed a lot of balance in that sense um except for the last third when it just kind of got a little bit you know um, you know showing some of that youth i guess is my best guess um so came with some of the harshness uh product uh, uh burn and draw wise it's really good it was amazing uh it was completely flawless um you know i i thought this was a absolute winner um and uh, happy to smoke more of these all right seth what were your overall thoughts um i mean listen overall i thought it was an average cigar um i thought the first third was pretty good i was getting some coffee earth cocoa some some fruit notes but it kind of just tapered down um as you get towards the end um and it just kind of lost complexity and balance and flavors um i'm not a big crazy i'm not a big fan of the uh Actually, I'll say that to the end. That's all I have to say. There you go. All right, John, what are your thoughts? Can we talk about the fact it's triple banded? I mean, it's got three bands on it. Uh, it's bands, a, it's, on bands on bands. It's, it's bands, bands on bands on bands, man. It's, it's incredible. We need I, don't know if I, I, I don't know if I've ever given another... Uh, let's go ahead. Nothing. That's it. I don't know if I've ever given another cigar an amazing pre-light, but if you're going to put three, three bands on your cigar... Just because of three bands, you gave the pre-light an amazing... No. They were they were applied well though. Like were, if you look at the location of it, it was over the top, <laughs> but it was done well. It's it's also wow. box pressed, which is you know that automatically gives you one free band. That gives yeah. you that's that's one free band. <laughs> you need a band to express that it's box pressed. When that's you right. do a when you do a box <laughs> press, two is standard. If you just do one on a box press, you're you're underdoing it. Yeah, it's just. Uh, I I was uh, with June on this one. Uh, I thought it uh, offered a lot of really interesting complexity. Uh, I was a little put off by the ring gauge size, so I wasn't sure that the complexity was going to be there. But right from this, again, we talk about cigars that are good right from the first puff, and this was right right from the first puff. I'm like, oh man, this is going to be a really nice experience, and I'm not going to have uh, have to sit through two hours and and suffer. Um, and like June, I, I found the last third, uh, had a little bit of bitter earth, a little bit of roughness to it. Um, I'm not sure if age will help that or not, but, uh, like the first and second thirds were just great. I mean, just baking spices and cocoa and, and, um, nuttiness and it all harmonized really well. Uh, sadly I had some draw issues, uh, draws a little on the tight side. Um, I'm not sure why that was, but. Uh, you know, normally the box press, you expect it a uh, little resistant, but this was like three to three and a half notches. So, um, you know, pretty, pretty resistant on each draw. But in typical Drew State fashion, every time I, I uh, drew on the scar, I was looking over my shoulder to see if the uh, fire trucks are coming because there's smoke all over the place. People were like looking at me weird. Um, and the uh, burn was flawless, uh, one and a half inch ash. So uh, overall, yeah, this is a fun review experience and I enjoyed it. Uh, Aaron, walk us through your experience. Yeah, I mean, I thought the cigar had a nice start to it, uh, but it kind of went downhill in each third after that as the profile became a bit dry, uh, some char joined in and built up. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the Sun Grown line for the Undercrown. Uh, and this iteration doesn't really kind of change that for me. Uh, flavors were a bit sharp. Uh, tin became a little bit heavy and strength-driven profile for me as it went along. Uh, between the Dogma options, that's the Maduro side. Um, don't really see myself coming back to, to this one, so... 
All right, uh, let's get into the scores. Let's start at the top with June at 6.82. Uh, John was next at 6.37. Seth gave it a 5.85, and I gave it a 5.60. So, uh, June, how'd that 6.82 match up for you? Match up well. Um, it's good to smoke a overall good cigar once in a while for the reviews, <laughs> yeah. especially since it's not been so good lately. All right, John, 6.37. Yeah, so I would have been up there pretty much exactly with June. I think we scored the cigar identical except for the draw. So, uh, you know, it could could just be an off sample. Uh, obviously, we have four guys reviewing it. So I think flavor-wise, I would put it up in the mid to high sixes of the June for sure. All right, Seth, 5.85. When I think of a 5.85 and I think of a cigar by Willie... I think it's Cigar Dojo, and and that's just where it, where it goes. So no, I listen. I think the flavors <laughs> went downhill after the first third. Um, I'm not crazy about the the sun grown line to begin with, but I do think that putting it in a larger ring gauge and pressing it helped the line out. Um, but I just wasn't I wasn't sold on it. I thought the flavor profile lacked. Um, good construction, not a bad cigar, but it's just not. I wanted more. I need more. Yeah, my 5.6 matches up well. I mean, it's an overall average flavor profile. Had a really good construction for me, so that's what gets into the mid uh, fives. Um, I'll kind of go along with Seth. Is I'm not the huge, the biggest fan of the Sun Grown line. Uh, I actually feel like the Flying Pig is the best Vitola in the line. Um, and outside of that, um, I have no, really no interest in smoking the line other than that, than that one Vitola. So, um, what are your guys' thoughts on that? Uh. I, you know, I think the Corona Viva is probably the best size for most of the Drew Estate stuff. And for me, I mean, I'm not, I'm with you there on the pigs. I think the pigs are like really, really fun Vitola. But uh, uh, if I had to pick a number one, it's got to be Corona Viva. For what? Their, what was it? What was the like other crown favorite size? The Maduro, yeah. They, they didn't make a Corona Viva size of the uh, Sun Grown yet, right? I don't think so. I hope yeah. they don't. Hold don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> just, just kill don't the even, Don't do the Connecticut one. Just, <laughs> just don't. Get rid man. of the light. <laughs> Please don't. If you do it, I'm never going to buy another Corona Viva ever again. <laughs> and it's not that big of a deal, but I'm not going to. I think the pig. I think the pig dominates because I think the pig carries over for all the lines really well. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, while there's only one Corona Viva, there can't be three. There can, yeah. only be, there can be only one. That's right. I uh, I feel silly because uh, I did not check in my cigar and therefore I did not get my my app my uh, my badge. So wah, wah, I didn't get what my Dojoverse badge. Uh, how do you yeah. have to do that? We did exactly, to check in. Exactly. So. Got to check exactly. it in. Man. All right. If you just catch this video <laughs> on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to us. We'll also check out the full written review on the website developmentpals.com. Follow us on all the social media channels, and you can catch all of our review recaps on podcasts. So iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thank you for tuning in. We will catch you on the next one. D for life.